Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sharnice and welcome to Simply Nikla. So today's video is just one special, big special video. If you don't know, you're gonna know now. This video is special because I finally made it to 100 subscribers. Yay! It's so, so exciting. It's really a special moment for me. But to have 100 of you that subscribe to my YouTube channel and tune into my videos each week, I really do really appreciate it and it just I, I just love you all always excited to make a video each week for you guys I do a lot of different things so I just love this simply Nikla community is live and thriving I just really appreciate all 103 of you so for this video of making to 100 subscribers I just started to do a nail tutorial video but not just any kind of nail tutorial video a, a crazy very interesting tutorial but something really awesome and cool to do so I decided to do some lava lamp nails like lava lamp nails why haven't I thought about this before so I had to do them for my 100 subscriber big time video so if you're interested in seeing what I do how to do these lava lamp nails go ahead sit back relax and continue watching but if you're new here and if you haven't subscribed yet go down below subscribe down below and also everyone give this video a like as well so let's get started with this video and I can wait so we can break apart the so to give this lava lamp experience and that effect, I decided to put on some clear nails. And if you want to do this yourself, you can get like clear coffin shaped nails or clear almond shaped nails, like long almond shaped nails to do this. Or you can do square shaped nails and just kind of taper it in at the top. But I started off with a clear nail base. I want my lava lamps on all of my nails to have like a little bit of glitter. So I decided and thought that if I put some glitter behind the color, it'll look like the glitter is shelled into the lava lamp, you know? So first, kind of like the base coat that I'm going to do is to apply a nice lovely glitter that I really love from Salon Perfect and it's called Ladies First and I just applied one coat onto those nails and just a little bit different this time and since my nails are pretty long, I decided to flip my nails over on the back side of my nails and to paint ladies first glitter onto the back of my nails as well to give it a little bit of some shine and a little secret something for these nails as well and also give more of that glitter effect as well as applying multiple layers on top I needed to make some translucent colors so that the water of the lava lamp is a different color so just having just a clear base so the colors of the lava lamps that I'm going to do is green orange blue pink and then purple so on camera I'm gonna show you how I mix the blue one but I did the same process that I'm gonna show you with the blue with all of the colors so you want to have a clear nail polish bottle then I use these two colors here from the Koki Professionals Atlantis at last and I mix that blue with LA Colors Color Craze and that blue is called Underworld and it's like that good mixture of dark and light and I mixed it all in and I shook the nail polish bottle up to mix those blue together because you want it to be opaque but also still clear. I want to mention that these nails are good for on top of clear nails but you also can do it onto natural nails as well so also give that a try please that would be so awesome once I got all of the clear translucent colors how I want them it's time to apply onto the nails so for the pinky I did a green so I applied that translucent green on top of there I just did a one coat for all of these Let go. So then the ring finger I did next and I wanted that to be an orange lava lamp. So I applied that clear translucent orange on that finger. Next is the middle finger and I did a blue that I showed you and I applied that onto that nail. Next on the index finger I wanted to have a pink lava lamp. So I have this nice pink translucent color for that nail. And then on the thumb, I decided to have a purple. So with that translucent purple color, I applied that one coat onto that thumb as well.
So each step you eventually see the lava lamp like come to life. So now we gotta make like the base and the top kind of lids for the lava lamp. And so I decided to have like a silvery chrome base and top for the lava lamp. On each of the silvery parts, I went ahead and applied two coats as well to make sure everything's nice and opaque. So the color that I used for that was from LA Colors Color Last and it's their metallic finish and that one is called chrome. I applied a section at the tip of nail and at the, around the cuticle to make that top of the lamp and the bottom of the lamp. Be, be me. Yeah, I just wanna go so crazy. I just wanna be a freak. Yeah, I just wanna rise to the top. Yeah, I just wanna go reach the peak. So I've been really well focused on success. Hey, yo, will see. Yeah, you will see that I will get it. Cause I'm really focused, man. I make it with the weapon. I just follow my path. I just follow my passion. To me, this is what's precious. Yeah, in my soul, man, I can feel it. So every single verse, man, I just gotta go and kill it, man. I gotta be the kid. I could be the guy taking you out. I could be the villain, but that is okay. Lately, I'm painting my path on my way. Yeah. I got no time that I can waste. Next is to finally apply the goopily goop of for the lava. The goopily goop for the lava. It sounds wonderful. So with each goopity goop section of each color, I did go ahead and went and applied two coats. I went with the green first and the green that I used for the goopity goop was from LA Colors Color Last and it's their green called Energy. And it was no rhyme or reason of how I did the goopity goops, but I took a dotting tool like a bit more of a bigger size dotting tool and like a more smaller size dotting tool and just applied the goopily goops areas onto the nail where I feel like I should want them so if you're doing this just you know take it slow might think about it but there's no rhyme or reason where you want to put it or like a specific way to do it for the orange lava lamp is next for the ring finger I use LA Colors quick quick color polish called at once and it was more kind of like a neon orange than I liked. I want I probably needed more like a darker orange. When we go in, we win in the match. Sure, sure. When we go in, we win in the match. So that's how we do because we be the best. Next up for the goopity goops, I know I keep saying goopity goops, but next up for the lava lamp is the blue. And for that, I use Koki Professionals Atlantis at last for that goops into that lava lamp. You want to see we the best? Hey, you don't see that we the best kid, so I suggest you never really come and test it. But otherwise, I will smack your face like Michael Jordan does with a ball in the basket, oh damn kid. Then for the pinky, I used LA Colors Color Last, and that color is called Never Ending, and it's a nice, beautiful pink that I chose for the index fingers. Goopity goop. <laughs> And finally, the last goopity goop, okay, I'm sorry. The last goopity goop for the purple on the thumb. I went ahead and used Salon Perfect's Mood Ring Purple. I always have lava lamps way back when, when I was younger, when the lava comes up and do all the goopy shapes and flows like from the light and stuff there's sometimes like a lighter shade of the goops so I'm going to try to do the shading and the highlights brightness parts of the lava so for the green I did some shading lines for the goopity goops and I used a nice dark green from a salon perfect and that is called tuck to the hand for the orange, I did some highlighting for that with a yellow. And I used LA Colors Color Last, and it's called Upbeat. For the blue, I decided to use a light blue from Sally Hansen's Insta Dry, and it's called Set Sail. And I just add those highlighted colors or their shaded colors wherever I feel like there should be some shading. Definitely more towards the base or the top of the lava lamp or when the goopily goops are kind of like pulling away. So that's how I thought about where those types of shading or highlighting should be.
The pink that I used to highlight and shade was from Broadway Nails and that's called Treasure Island. And then lastly, the purple that I chose to highlight for the purple is from LA Colors Color Craze and it's called Jazzy. Almost done guys, we're at the home stretch for these nails. So to really finish it off, to make it really cohesive, to make it really look good, I decided to make a line to segregate the base colors and that top color from the lava lamp section. So I used a black to make those lines, which I used LA Colors Color Last and it's called Onyx. And I just applied a straight black line onto all of those uh, sections onto the nails. Once I had done that for every nail, um, everything was perfect, everything was done. Now I need to seal everything in. So I use my favorite top coat at the moment, which is called Pro Effects Quick Dry High Gloss Top Coat, and I apply that to every nail. guys how do you like my lava lamp nails these are so awesome I love it my family who I that I've shown my nails to love them they are so cool and such a great idea like I recommend you guys to try these and do them yourself they're so easy and you just going to be the talk of the town of some cool freaking nails I hope you really did enjoy this nail tutorial this hundred subscriber nail tutorial epic nail tutorial so thank you so much for watching go down below especially if you haven't already and you're new here subscribe down below give this video a like as well and I just want to thank you so much again one last time but other than that I'll catch you back next week with another awesome video bye <laughs>